What's up everyone, welcome back to the Durbin Compound. So if you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today we're at the local Home Depot. Um, I wanted to check out um, the new 61 inch uh, mobile work center by Milwaukee. So if you can see it right behind me here, um, this thing comes with a butcher block on top. Um, looks very awesome. Um, I do like the butcher block. Um, this thing has a uh, extendable pegboard on the um, back side of it. The only thing about the pegboard, um, I'm trying to goof with it here in the store, it's very, very cumbersome to try to pull up. So um, let's spin you around here. So this pegboard uh, slides back into the back behind um, the toolbox and you need to pull it up on both sides. So if I uh, can move this. There is a detent on both sides of the Pegboard, so you have to give it a, a sharp yank or you need two people to be able to pull this up on both sides um, Those detent balls are, are very strong. So um, that's one of those things. Uh, you know, it has a reversible handle on both sides um, So I really like that you can put the handle here. You can put the handle on the other side um, This thing has a battery bank on the one side. Um, I think this is all right, this battery bank you know, or uh, uh, power strip here has six outlets, um, which is pretty darn good, 15 amps. Um, so you can run some pretty good stuff off here. So uh, for you nerds, uh, the category number or the catalog number is 4822-8561, uh, 61 inch model. So this thing sells for 698. So um, I, think, uh, I think the value is there. I think it's a very, very well-built toolbox. Um, I think the, the drawers, um, on the side, they have uh, some nice drawer uh, pulls. Um, they're not all that rigid. Um, you have a little bit of a little bit of flimsiness in the drawer, um, if you can tell side to side flimsiness here. So I mean, the the quality there could be a little bit more. Um, it has a little bit to be desired. Um, another thing I don't like is that the battery bank in the uh, the bottom drawer is not really a battery bank at all. It'll hold your power tools, but it really doesn't uh, allow you to have a charger in so it. So this bottom drawer has parts um, it's for your tools. You can customize a little bit, but uh, nowhere to run wires or the ability to uh, have a charger in it. And it shows just the battery or the battery power tools there in the organizer, but otherwise doesn't have anywhere to run your tools to. So overall, not a bad toolbox. Um, I think that the value is there. Um, would I spend $698 on it? I'm not sure yet. Um, six casters. It's designed to hold a lot of weight. Um, I, think it, I think it's good. I don't think it's great. Um, I, I'm uh, looking forward to some advancements in the future. So I thought I would throw in that quick review um, and uh, see what you guys think about it. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. If, uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them. Um, other than that, uh, hit the smash or smash that like button. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.